Imagine starting a YouTube channel and in less than six months, you already have it over 80,000 subscribers. Amazing, right? Well, this is the case of this YouTube channel. And this YouTube channel just started in about October 2023. And of course, if you do the math, that is about six months. And this YouTube channel is not even posting shots literally just videos and that means to say that whatever this youtube channel is doing must be really fascinating and must be really really looked into and before you judge and say probably it's just the algorithm well this is the case of this another youtube channel just doing the same thing and this person even started in february 2024 and they already have over 60,000 subscribers and another one who started in November 2023 of course that's about five months ish and they already have over 15,000 subscribers and what are these youtubers doing what do they do now basically what these youtubers are doing are basically creating animation for African folklore with animations and in this video i'm basically going to be showing you the step-by-step -step process on how you can do this same thing very easily now the first thing you are going to do because we are literally going to be leveraging on ai these animations are created by ai if you look through the thumbnails from this to this other YouTube channel. And from all three of them, there is one thing that is very consistent and common. As you can see, the animation slightly looks um, alike and it looks really smooth. And that is to tell you that these individuals are literally leveraging on AI. So if there are people out there who are taking good advantage of AI, so why can't you too? Now, I'm going to be showing you how to get this done. Now, the very first step is that you want to get your title ideas because if you look back at all these tales, these African tales or these folklores, you can see they all have a title. So basically, the first thing you want to do is have some title ideas that you can work with in order to consistently create content and never run out of content. Now, the first place you want to go to is ChatGPT, and I'm very sure that you would already know ChatGPT, but just in case you don't know, you can access it by going to chatgpt.com or um, openai.com. And basically, you are just want, going to give ChatGPT a prompt. You can pause and, you know, copy this prompt or record it somewhere. So just in case you would like to try it out. Basically, the prompt you are giving ChatGPT is give me a list of title ideas for an animated YouTube video series about a dramatic African love. Now, the story set should be specific to the Yoruba culture because one thing if you notice about all this other YouTube channel I've shown you is that they are all specific to a certain culture and you can see their videos are very similar you know, very unique, but similar in a way. So what you want to do is give it um, the, a specific culture just to add that uniqueness to it. Then include things like family conflict, forbidding love, betrayal, and royalty. This would just help to, you know, give you title ideas that would spark the interest of people. Now, you want to go ahead and let ChatGPT do its magic. Remember, you can also go ahead and add some other things depending on what you are looking for in the title ideas. Now, ChatGPT has done its magic and it has literally listed 20 topics for us. And of course, um, if you want more, you can literally just go ahead and say, give me more. And ChatGPT will literally produce more just after this 20. So you can see here, you can see Heart of Oyo, The Royal Causes of Ife, Love Beyond the River Ninja, Beneath the Boabab Tree, and the likes of it. Now, these are title ideas that you want to work with just in the process of creating more content as regards this um, Yoruba folklore. 
However, we are just going for the sake of this content, we're just going to be picking one so that I can show you a step-by-step -step way on how to do this. Now we're going to be picking the royal cause of effect. Now, you are just going to give chat GPT another prompt. So basically, I'm just going to say, give me a three minute video storyline about number two, because the more specific you are with chat GPT, the more that you can get from it. So you can see from the initial one that chat GPT gave, you can see it's more like a drama where people are literally acting. So one person says something and your other person replies, which is literally, which is actually not what I want. So I just went ahead to tell um, chat GPT that let it be like a story told and not a drama. And now chat GPT goes ahead and gives us um, like from the point of a narrator. So now that we have gotten a storyline, ChatGPT has literally done the work for us. The next thing we want to do is get a voiceover. And for the voiceover, you can either use a level labs or you can use your own voice to give it your own uniqueness. However, for the sake of this video, I will be using 11 labs. So now, because for the sake of the purpose of we're using 11 labs, I want to put in all the story together. However, you can see there's scene six, scene narrator and everything. So I'm just going to tell ChatGPT, give me only the narrator's part and remove the scenes, meaning remove all this um, subhead in there. And um, ChatGPT has literally done that. Now, all that we are going to do is we are just going to copy because ChatGPT has already done the work for us. And we are just going to copy from here and we are going to post everything in the 11 labs under the text to speech. And basically to access 11 labs, you just need to go to 11labs.io just from the name implies 11 and labs. So now you can easily check or change the voicing you want. You can use a mail, you can use the, depending on the names. So after more check, I was able to actually create my own um, voicing. I mean, not mine, but I was able to create a voice by going here. And I was able to create um, something that is much more suitable to African folklore, since we're going to be making use of the African accent and everything. So I just named it African voice and I was able to click it here. And this is the generated voice here, which we have downloaded by clicking here from the storyline. So in the heart of the ancient city of Ife, amidst the grandeur of its bustling market and majestic palace, there lived a young priest named Adebayo, handsome and kind. You're going to wait for it to give you and do its magic for you. So now you can see um, some pictures it has given us and all we want to do is go and download it so we can click here have this is downloaded we may also want to you know download this depending on whichever that you want to download you can download as many as possible and have it um, save download so now we've gotten this set the next thing we're going to do is go from here and go there and paste Remember, you want to take it a step at a time so you don't have a single image lasting for a very long period of time. You want to always try to put in the, the culture you're talking about so that the animation will be streamlined to that culture because this is AI. So you can see these are the images that um, it's giving us and we can go ahead and download this. So now we are going to download all this. So now I'm just going to do this for this other line and I'm going to show you how the video is going to look like. Now the next thing you are going to do once you have um, done that, because definitely you want to take it bit by bit on chat GPT so you can have sufficient graphics for your video now the next place you're going to go is canva and basically canva is like a designing platform you can literally do designs on canva however 
Canva is not the only option. You can make use of any um, video platform. You can make use of CapCut. You can make use of Adobe Premiere Pro. You can also make use of Canva. But for the purpose and the sake of this video, I will be making use of Canva. So basically on Canva, you may just want to type video here. So I'm just going to drag and drop it here. You can also go ahead and add your graphics here. So we want to make this short also. This here, just to also make it quite, you know, different um, images. So now, just because it is moving like a series of pictures, we may want to add some animation to it just to make it look much more fun so now we have added um, a certain animation to it just to give it a little bit of life so we're just going to do it to all the rest of the video and of course bring out uh, the outcome of that now once you are fully compiled this video the next thing you want to do is that you will want to um download this video so you can compile it up to how you want it so if you are doing a five minutes video or a seven minutes video you want to compile all of that and ensure you get all your graphics from the microsoft designer and all compile them together now you want to download by clicking on the share icon here and basically when you scroll down you see download and all you need to do is go ahead and download it here so we're going to wait a few minutes to have our video downloaded and you are going to see the final result in the heart of the ancient city of ife amidst the grandeur of its bustling markets and majestic palace there lived a young prince named adedayo handsome and kind adedayo was beloved by all yet his heart was bound by a love that defied the laws of his land Adedayo had fallen deeply in love with Abeni, a commoner of unmatched beauty and grace. Their love blossomed in secret by the banks of the river, where they dreamt of a future together. But the shadow of an ancient curse loomed over their happiness. Long ago, a princess of Ife defied the gods by marrying a commoner. Enraged, the gods cursed the royal lineage. No royal blood may marry outside their class, they decreed, or doom will befall the land. So that is the end product of how the video is going to look like. And you can see that is the step-by-step -step way of how to create similar videos like this. So all you want to do is you want to put it on um, your channel and of course create a very fancy YouTube thumbnail to, um, for, to make your videos very eye-catchy. However, you may want to add some um, music to your videos just to give the videos a little bit of more life however one thing i would say is that youtube has very strict rules as regards music and copyright issues therefore you may not know whichever music is copyright or not copyright free however to be on the safe side you can leverage on youtube's um, own music so all you need to do is go to your youtube studio you go after, and this must be done after you have already uploaded um, the video. Then you want to go into the editor, and because it's an African kind of ish um, folklore animation, we want to use something that will be traditional, something that will befit what we're trying to display on the video. So basically, you may just under the music, you may want to search for. Um, Africa so you can see contains Africa so you can see all this um, particular music that it has brought for you are related to Africa tradition or culture so you can just listen to any one of them and whichever one that fits or that suits you you can begin to add it to your video and save it so I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, do want to leave a thumbs up on this video. If you have any questions, I would really love to hear it and I'd love to answer it in the comment section. However, also put where you are watching from in case you're not an African watching this, put where you're watching from. And if you like me to create something like this, create a new video on how to do animations for your own um, culture, do want to leave it in the comment section. I would love to hear it. Let me know where you are watching from. 
and make sure you smash the like button and do not forget to subscribe hit the notification bell icon so when next i'm dropping a new video youtube will literally notify you first so stay tuned i remain tfi and i hope to show you ways on how to make money online